Don't shake your carboy. In some of our previous videos, we have advocated shaking a glass carboy to mix the honey and water. Don't do this. We have since received just a little bit of backlash. Okay, a lot of backlash. And you know what? They're right. And I'm wrong. If you pick up your glass carboy to mix the ingredients and you drop it, not only could you risk a very big mess, the shattering glass can create very sharp projectiles that might land you in the emergency room. So, how do you mix the honey in the water? We have two options. Option A is plastic. Ferment in a plastic bucket or one of these amazing scientific spherical fermenters. Option two... A drill bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! I bought this from Amazon, $19.99. It's got 14,000 BTUs, 1,300 RPMs, with 16 gigabytes and 15 gigawatts. Or insert, insert this into your fermenter and push the button. The vortex will mix your mead, combining your honey, water, and nutrients. Now it's very important to remember not to let these blades touch the walls of your fermenter. If your fermenter's glass, it can chip. And then you'll have glass shards in your mead. If your fermenter's plastic, it can scratch, which is bad. But the moral of the story is, don't shake your carboy.